Let me see if I can remember how to do this. Hi, Puerto friends. I'm so sorry. It's been so long. Uh, it's me. It's still me, Trisha Fuerte. Hi. Um, I know it was a long, unexpected Fuerte body break from Fuerte body breaks, but I'm trying to get back into it. Um, last Fuerte body break, I literally just checked my page right now, was on December 2nd. Today is April 19th. Um, so I've been okay, but I, I have just felt, I felt called to use my energy and my creativity, um, not in front of the camera. So if you've been following my other socials, um, I'm still getting out there, still protesting. I hope you are all still protesting in the way that you can for a free Palestine, for a free Congo, free Sudan, free Hawaii, free Puerto Rico, free Philippines, um, free us, free us all. Um, I, f I do feel like it's a, it's a special energy right now, at least with the community I'm surrounded by and I hope that for all of you that um, that we are holding on to hope and the tides are turning um, in Palestine and we are almost free so I've been documenting um, still using my my voice and um, my craft of being behind the camera in that way uh, but in terms of wanting to check in with my body it did not want to be I stepped away from doing that in front of the camera um, because honestly yeah it's been really hard uh, and then in December I was interviewing for a few jobs and then I did get a new job so I was being onboarded to a new job um, and then I took uh, a vacation with my family, so just taking time to be present um, with them. And um, now I'm trying to get back into it. But yeah, it's been really hard. I was like, how can I be a voice about checking in with our bodies if I basically needed to reset mine? Uh, but today's Fuerte Body Break, uh, and for those of you who are just tuning in now and you're like, what's a Fuerte Body Break? Uh, let's see if I could remember. Um, Fuerte Body Breaks are a moment for me to check in with my body, remind you all to check in with your body, and they are unedited, unfiltered, uh, raw files, raw feelings, straight from the heart, straight to the phone, straight to YouTube, even if my voice shakes, even if I'm at a low, even if it's not perfect, um, they're just honest and real. And all I want is for us all to remember to do that for our bodies. Um, and remember to let's drink our water. I refilled it before I filmed this because I remember we do this. Um, cheers. Go get go get your water. <laughs> That's good. Don't forget to drink your water and don't forget to wash your water bottle often. <laughs> that was good. That felt good to do that. Um and hope to be able to keep doing that with you all often again. Um, so today's for to body break, I just wanted to tell you all how I've been taking care of my body in the past few months. So I did leave a job that wasn't serving me in all aspects. I did secure a job that I now have a full-time salary with benefits and uh, I feel like is more aligned with my skills and my strengths and my interests um, and my values uh, as far as I know it's been four months so far so good so keep your fingers and toes crossed for me there um, I renewed my lease um, and so I'm happy to still be in an apartment 
that I call home now for the past almost two and a half years now and um I could I could afford it I'm not like scraping and finding little gigs here and there and transferring funds in order to make rent every month um so yeah just securing that before I get back in front of the camera was really important to me so and I'm sure you all understand I hope you all know that Forte Body is that's essentially what it is it's not just about moving your body it's not just about dressing your body it's not just about fueling your body with food that you enjoy and that feels good to you and that nourishes you but it's also about rest and sustaining your body and there's so many elements people forget about and their body is trying to give you signs and um yeah, so I hope Puerto Body helps you pay attention to those signs. Uh, what else? I still go to therapy. Honestly, to be even more candid, the past few weeks have been even harder on a personal level. Um, and so just my, my psychological and even physical safety uh, needed to be even more prioritized so I am now seeing my therapist twice a week uh, and I love love my therapist um, just straightening the <laughs> camera I was getting on a line and then I'm happy to share that I found a Pilates class a Matt Pilates class because I don't know where this uh, the medieval contraptions uh, the BDSM um, machinery that we're using now in Pilates classes I don't trust myself on those I commend those who are able to use those but I'm I'm very very clumsy um and so I don't trust myself I'm gonna hurt myself on those so I found a Matt Pilates class within my budget $15 a class in New York City I'm not if you want to know where just DM me or something because I don't I don't know if I want to announce where I am every week um, on a on a public platform and have it permanently documented somewhere that makes me nervous. So, but if you want to know and you want to be my fifteen dollars a week Pilates buddy, please let me know. Um, I'm really really excited about it. Um, not only because it's in my budget and walking distance from my place. But I tried a lot of different movement classes because I want I was like, I want a class that's going to supplement my dance classes, make me a stronger, better dancer so I can dance even more, uh, just build my endurance. And a lot of classes that I've tried out here in New York City were very like fitness TM and trying to sell me memberships or class packs or tell me they have a deal or whatever. It's just very like they're trying to take my money and not trying to take care of my body. So I'm really excited that I found this place and now it's a part of my weekly schedule on top of still going to dance every Friday. Um... So that's what that's what I've been doing. I also because, you know, I started a meal prep program where I my in my studio, I don't have much of it. It's really a kitchenette um, equivalent to those little, you know, kitchen corners or walls that are in hotel rooms. Honestly, I have <laughs> some of those are nicer than what I have here. But um, on top of not having the space to cook the time the energy um and just like I really my what my depression has taken over is just my physical capacity to do things like cook or even grocery shop so I did find a meal prep program uh or meal prep service that is local I literally pick up the food from this woman's apartment building at the front desk and um same thing it took me a while to find a meal program that is not like they freeze the food beforehand and it's not like they make you commit to uh, a membership uh this one you can pay per item 
And so to find something like that within my budget and local and the food is fresh, not frozen, that is, I could feel it already making a difference for me. So just some things I wanted to share that hopefully can inspire you uh, in ways to take care of your body, um, especially now with six months and on top of the 75 years of a genocide happening in Palestine. And if you live in the U.S. like me, just um, the U.S.'s active contributions to keep this genocide um, active. Horrible. (laughs) My phone is like, I'm over it also. I'm ready to drop. Um, Without further ado, let's do our first daily affirmation of 2024. I'm really excited. Um, And I I think this is the backdrop we're going to work with for now. (laughs) As you can tell, I'm trying to get used to this phone sticky thing on my window and I have a little mic Uh, my sibling gave me an extra mic they had and I cleaned my apartment Uh, it took me four days and I took a lot of breaks but I'm proud of myself it did get to a point I was like oh my god do I need to hire somebody to clean my apartment but I took it one step at a time and now I have a reset body and a reset space so hopefully Um, we're going to do more for to body breaks with each other. I hope they're helpful for you because even just doing this one, um, it's, it's feeling helpful for me. Okay. (laughs) Uh, today's affirmation is, this was, I just rewatched my last for to body break because I was like, how do I do this again? But this was the one, this was our last for today. So we're literally picking up where we left off. The affirmation is, I do not need to monetize my hobbies. Spending time doing something I love is enough for me. And that's another um, anti-capitalist affirmation from at Femislay on Instagram. Um, this is so, so, so good to remember. So for you... You do not need to monetize your hobbies. Spending time doing something you love is enough for you. Um, Something that I started again that I haven't done in a really long time. Um, When I hit a low the last few weeks, I started writing poetry again. Uh, So maybe I'll share some poems with y'all. But I have no interest in monetizing those poems. Also, learning piano on Duolingo. Um, don't plan to become a concert pianist or write songs. I just, I just feel like it is, it helps me connect to music better and it helps me with my singing. So we do not need to monetize our hobbies. Spending time doing something that we love is enough for us. Okay. Um, thanks for checking in with me. It's good to be back and I hope to see you tomorrow. Um, thank you with all, all my love, always and always. I'm Trisha Fuerte and this is Fuerte Body.